What's up everybody? Well, I got another video for you guys today, and today we're going to finish up 3D Mark on the main computer here. Now I don't believe I've ever done that before on my secondary or my primary computer, but if I did, well we're doing it again, because lots of things have changed, driver updates, all that stuff, and I definitely don't remember going through every test in existence. I think I may have done that on the laptop a long time ago, but it's always good to do stuff again, you know, just to see how it's doing. But anyway, why don't we go ahead and just hop right in. I think I've said my stats enough on my other videos. I'll still keep doing it there, but on this one, you'll literally see all the stuff that's important in the system info when we go and look at the stuff. The only thing I will say is the RAM is now overclocked ever so slightly. We're talking 200 megahertz here. I just started tinkering with it, but it's pretty much running at standard timings and all that stuff. But now instead of being at 6,400 megahertz, now it's at 6,600 megahertz. So that's probably worth a frame or two, maybe. But anyway, why don't we now go hop on into the 3D marking? All right. So basically what we're gonna do is just like on the laptop and the secondary computer, we're just gonna go through all the benchmarks. Just all in a row. Even the silly ones like Night Raid and Wildlife if we can. Just not that one though. We don't need the sampler or the Intel. But we'll do DLSS of course. And we'll do the VA VRS. Hopefully that'll work too. But not the Intel one. No point on that. In any case though, why don't we go ahead and hop into the benchmarks. Speedway is all finished, so we got 10,238, which apparently is good. There's 10,238. We beat average by 200, so not too far off from best. Only 1,500 away. <laughs> well, not quite 1,500, about a little less than 1,000. And there's what our clocks were. And there's our detailed score. So... Not too much else to this test, so why don't we go ahead and move on to the next one. Moving on to some Port Royale, we got 26,515, which is just ever so slightly better than average, but within spitting distance. And there's our monitoring thing right there. And there's our detailed score right there. We got 122 FPS. And that's pretty much it. So, to the next one. Well, all right, times five extreme. We got 18,195. There's our score compared to the average. Pretty much exactly identical to average. All right. There's our monitoring. And then that's where it drops and does the CPU test, so that makes sense for the GPU to go down. Now let's scroll down so you guys can take a look at the detailed scores right here. And alrighty, to the next test. Here's just the regular time spy score of 32,764. And again, we're just ever so slightly above average. There's the monitoring. And here are the detailed scores right here. And with that said, now it is time to move on. All right, Fire Strike Ultra, we got 24,167. There's our graphic score, physics score, and combined score. And uh, now we are not quite average. Average is beating us by quite a bit. It's kind of like when I do my laptop stuff. It's about the same right there. But it is what it is. It's not the biggest deal. Well, it's not like it's not a badass computer. But anyway, let's scroll down. Look at our detailed scores here. And all right, to the next one. All right, Fire Strike Extreme 37763. I kind of got annihilated here. I got beat by over a thousand points. Damn. That's no fun. I might have to tinker a little more. Not like it really matters that much. I'd rather just play games and have it be stable, but I still might try a little harder just to see what I can get. There's our detailed scores right here, though. And now, let's go and 
move on to the next one. All right, and now we are getting 43502, which is getting absolutely annihilated. But I don't think this card does very good at 1080p, which I'm pretty sure this is. So that could be. Or there might be something else going on with my system. Who knows? But this is the first time it's been that much of a difference. Anyway, though, let's go and look at our detailed scores here. And all right, now let's go move on. All right, here's our night raid score. And we're still quite a bit behind the average. But again, this is probably such low resolution, maybe it just can't handle it. I'm not sure. And there's our detailed scores, though. It's not like those aren't good enough. <laughs> but now we can go ahead and move on to the next test. Well, now, here's our max thread score. 16 threads right there, 8 threads, 4 threads, 2 threads, and damn, that single core score or single thread beats the hell out of both my AMD laptop and my 5800X3D. Not that that tell always tells the whole story. There's what the clocks were between 50, 55 and 58. I haven't messed with it much. I just let it boost more often than not. That's about it. Anyway, to the next test. Well, now here we go with the storage benchmark. We got 3122. So at least in this particular spot, we're a little above average, but far, far away from the best with all the raid setups and all that going on. But here's all the different bandwidths and access times. And all right. And then we got 2728 for move game, but it's a pretty fast drive, so that's not too surprising that it would beat the other two handily. But, in any case, now we can go ahead and move on. Now for the ray tracing feature test, and we got ourselves 146.97 FPS, so pretty damn nice, very damn nice indeed. And there's our little monitoring thing there. And there we go. Why don't we now move on? All right, now for the mesh shader feature test. We got 325 with it off and 991 with it on. I wonder what the heck that does. That seems like a useful feature. Though, usually if it gets you that much more FPS, it probably makes your image look terrible or something. But here's our monitoring little line. And there we go. Now it's time to move on to the next test. Well, all right, here's our PCI Express feature test, and there's our bandwidth. And there we go. I think we figured out our problem and why we are a little behind people. That's uh, only half of what it should be. And that's because I've got a damn SSD drive in the top slot. So if anybody's getting not great performance, now we can probably know why. It's probably the same as mine. If you have an SSD populating the top slot, it only makes your top GPU run in 8x mode. So I need to move that ASAP. Here's the VRS feature test. We got 2925 with it off and 3396 with it on. So that's only 16% performance game. And when you're already getting that many FPS, who the hell cares? I wouldn't care about any of this at that point. But in any case, still a fun little test to run. So why don't we go move on now? Well, all right. So here's the second one of those VRS feature tests. We got 380 with it off and 560 with it on, which equals a 47.3% gain, which is awfully impressive, but I don't know. If I'm already getting 380 FPS, I don't think I care about getting 560, but in any case, moving on. All right, we're going to do all the DLSS ones in this. So we're starting with it off there at 122, and then with it on, it's 167. Now this is just DLSS 1. It's dropping it down to 1440p from 4K. So, did a pretty good job, but that one always looks kind of Vaseline-y and not very good. So, I'm kind of glad they got rid of 1.0 in most games. But anyway, now let's go see how DLSS 2.0 handles it. All right, here's the same test with it off. About the same, which it should be. And we get 183 now with DLSS 2 at the same 2560 by 1440. And it's at quality. And it's dropping it down from 4K. So, now... Let's go move on to DLSS 3. Well, all right, we got 120 with it off, just like we pretty much did with everything else. Now we got 212 with it on, but this is 3 at 1440p with quality, but this does have frame generation on in it. I can't flip the toggle switch off. 
So I figured now, why don't we go ahead and just do 4K as well with frame generation on just to see what it does, just for fun. Now last up here with DLSS off, we got 59 this time at 4K, and then we got 140 with it on, but that's still with all of the stuff on with frame generation and quality and all that, but that's still at native resolution, but with fake frames. But anyway, now we can go wrap this video on up. Well, all right, guys, that is a wrap for 3D Mark on the main computer now. So we've got that all the way. And the most important thing about all of this is don't take benchmarks too seriously, unless your stuff is super underperforming. Like instead of getting 43,000, if I was getting like 32,000, like I used to get with my old 3090 or whatever, that's just an example. I don't really remember what I got with it, but just as an example, then I'd be like, oh shit, what the hell's going on? That's kind of why I usually run benchmarks, not really to be like, ha I'm gonna go and rub benchmarks in people's faces. As you saw, in a lot of instances, my, even this badass computer gets smoked by other people's computers. Doesn't make it a terrible computer at all. I'm sure there's lots of people that'd be very happy to have a computer that powerful, but I'm not gonna sit here and go, oh, nope, it didn't ruin top the charge, piece of shit. Nope, not me. Maybe there was one point in my life where I was like that, but I learned real quickly that that's a stupid way to think. When I was younger, a teenager, I'd sit there and try to compete and try to get the fastest computer I could afford and try and brag, and then I learned, oh, shoot, people have way more expensive and better computers because they have way more money than I did at the time. That's life. More often than not, someone is going to have more money than you. As long as you're happy and getting what you want though, that's all that really matters. Shouldn't that money sit there and run your life and only care about the almighty dial? That's no way to be. But anyway, we're going off on a tangent, but I would still say it performed pretty damn good. So in any case, it is time to end this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out guys.